Hello everybody, hello, hello, and welcome back. Uh why is game no show? Hold up. Why why game no show? There's game. Game show. Okay. Hi everybody. I hope you all are doing well. I'm doing okay day. Uh it could be better, but I'm doing alright. Um I hope y'all are doing well. As I said, uh, we're going to be getting back into Assassin's Creed Origins, as you can see over here, right, right around here, in just a second. Um, what the fuck is with my camera? Hold on. There we go. Um, so, yeah. Uh, before we get properly started, just want to quickly remind you all: Linktree, Patreon, uh, Linktree. Basically, if you want to support me beyond just being a viewer. Uh, you don't have to, but you can if you want to. Um, the way to do that would uh, go look through the link tree. You'll find links to places where you can follow me on socials, uh, places where you can uh, support me beyond just being a viewer of my stuff. Um, my Patreon, I have a Kofi in there and a bunch of other stuff. So feel free to check all that out um, if you want to. And if not, that's perfectly fine. That's entirely up to you. Um, I won't hold it against you either way. Uh, oops, wrong button. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, do I have anything else to announce? Uh, this week we're starting two new games, um, on Wednesday we'll be playing Sonic Origins, um, and on Friday we'll be, be uh, we'll be playing, uh, Dishonored 2, so I'm excited, I hope you're excited as, as excited as I am, um, but uh, yeah, anyway, before we get properly started with it, before we actually get back into it on this game, I, I wanted to take a t some time and reassess the equipment situation. Uh, so the majority of this layout uh, of this loadout is what I carried over from my uh, for my initial playthrough on my own of this game. Um, hard level, hard weapons leveled up, blah, 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 blah. Um, does not mean that they're necessarily the best thing uh, overall. So, um, oh wait, wrong thing. Let's start with the shield. So I've been use, we've been using Moot's Sh Sorrow for a bit, um, and it's got de it's got really good melee resistance, really good ranged resistance, and when I block them, it hits them with a, a sleep, which then causes them to either fall asleep or to slow down in their attacks for a bit. Basically, it gives me a little bit of breath. Um, I feel like that's not necessarily as useful in a nightmare game play, a nightmare new game plus, as it was in the uh, in the normal difficulty uh, first time playthrough. Um, I do like the design of it, but it's not, you know, it, it's I, I the design is secondary. Now, it is the one that has the highest quality rating which means it is the one that is arguably the best out of all of the ones I currently have. Obviously, this bronze shield right here, we're not even going to look at. I'm just going to go ahead and dismantle it. Um, but uh, yeah, we're not going to look at anything that's not currently, that's not a gold. Um, Moot Sorrow is also the only shield. Well, hold on. Let's see what hidden items I have. Yeah, no. Uh, Moot Sorrow is also the only one I have that is not either from... DLC or um hold on just a second I just realized I couldn't see volumes and volumes are important um anyway uh DLC or from helix credits which uh basically you know you could go in here and spend real money to buy in-game items and stuff like that alternatively you could also go uh, so there was a kid we talked to uh, numerous sessions ago. This guy, this these these right here, uh, these mission, these this diamond. Uh, also, there's a um, where's the legend? This uh, do, 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 do. there it is. The Nomad's Bazaar. Uh, that symbol or the diamonds. Um, but that color is the important thing. Um, those are places where like you can earn potentially potentially earn weapons that were in that money real money store 
um and that's how i've got the ones i've got was i i did a first time playing through i didn't realize that that was just infinite re repetition of same basic stuff with a few changes here or there um and so i did a lot of that and ended up with like a lot of these and like a, a lot a lot so the dlc symbol is the little uh present symbol the other thing is stuff that you are uh, that I that I got from the store um, versus this, which is just given in game in main game. Um, now I'm not as a, I'm not averse to using DLC stuff. Um, now the reason I'm not using the Zydric is because the Zydric is from the Final Fantasy 15 uh, Assassin's Creed Origins crossover DLC that happens. Yes, Sasha. Yes, Sasha. I'm busy. I'm working here. Um, she says hi. My, my kitty says hi. Um, kitty kitty says hi. Um, it gives the same HP boost uh, as Moot Sorrow. It's one quality down, and I don't know what determines that. Oh, actually, no, I do. Um, it's that it doesn't have as many little blocks in the, in the two abilities. So if you look at the melee resistance, ranged resistance, you'll see ranged resistance has four little blocks, whereas melee has three filled in and one empty. Uh, Zydrich has three on both. Um, so that that's what determines that. Um, now, these two I do need to level up uh, to level 55 before we determine for sure that they're whether or not they're worth use, uh, doing. Um, I'm tempted to pick up the Zydrich and run with it for a bit. Um, the one thing is I really like the resistances, um, but I don't know. Let's, let's give it a shot for a bit. Let's, let's just give it a shot for a bit. Um, I need this hand. I do. No, you don't. Your, your, your left hand is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing, and nothing else, and that is Scritch the Cat. <laughs> Sorry, baby girl. Um, I also don't know if there's a way to level these up beyond... Uh... <laughs> She's pouting. Um, she just said, hey! <laughs> uh, anyway. So that that's that. that, that, that that's that, basically. Um... If I don't like it, I don't like it. We'll swap it back. Um, all right. So now I have been having a little bit of trouble with Aten's with Aten's end. Um, I like the sword of the Duat. It, I like that it gives health on a hit, um, and also it's got like max everything, um, as you can see. Um, It is just essentially a color swap of some of these other weapons I have. Here's the Ultima Blade, which is the one from uh, the, the weapon that came from the... Uh, basically, with the Final Fantasy XV DLC, uh, you get a weapon, you get a shield, and you get a mount. Um, you get the Zydrich shield, the Ultima Blade, and you get the... Where is it? Que. The Que mount. Um, the Zydrich blade will teleport to your hand and it makes all kinds of flashy like Final Fantasy kind of sounds and visuals it's kind of great um, and there's the Zydrich uh, it's called the oh right And here is the monstrosity known as the Que. It's a camel with bird tails for a butt and a chocobo head. If it had two legs, it would be accurate. But it does not have two legs. It has one. Or four, I mean. It has one leg! That's even more horrifying. Anyway. 
So no, we are, we are, yeah, no. We don't use Que. We don't talk about Que. I use Mary Amun, who is named after, who's named Beloved of Amun. Amun being the god that Bayek is dedicated to. So it felt, feels right in the story. But anyway. Um... Health for critical, uh, health on kill. Uh, now I think sort of duot might be our best one out of the out of the base weapon. Aten's spear, however, or Aten's end. Um, it's the only spear we have. The reason I had this one equipped was because I felt I needed a heavy weapon, and it is technically a heavy weapon. Uh, it has long reach, average power, um, as you can see on screen, um, and which is nice for when riding a horse, uh, at least on normal. Um, it has a... hold on, let's... Oh, I didn't change off the Zydrich. Hold on. Did I want to keep the Zydrich? I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll stick to that for now. Um... I like that. That's good for clearing mobs. You know? The problem is it doesn't always work if I'm not doing it right. It has a charge attack if you're holding, you know. It Basically, there are four types of attacks. There's the standard click, which is the chaining attack. There's the hold and chain attack, which is kind of like a charge attack. It's a charge attack. Uh, there's the strong attacks, which are in, for this are a thrust. And then there's the charge. So it's basically click or hold and click. Bas hold down, basically. Excuse me, basically. And like, that's useful. Don't get me wrong, it's useful. That spin is very useful for clearing mobs. But is that our best option at the moment? I am not convinced. It gives health on kill, which is not as good as health on hit, um, in my opinion. Uh, combo multiplier, meaning the more hits I hit on somebody, the more damage it does. Critical hit damage, it has a little bit of a boost, but not too much of one. Um, uh, average speed, but powerful heavy blade. Let's give that one a shot. Ooh. Yeah, that's a heavy hit. Alright. So, standard click. Heavy. The hold down click. It's it's just like a quick one-two. Um, the heavy attack. And then the charged. Okay. Maybe. Um, that might be what I pull out. Uh, that one or the or one of these heavy blunts I might pull out for the statues. Um, eh, eh, eh. Has adrenaline on hurt, which means I get adrenaline points when I get hurt. It's combo mo multiplier, not as powerful as Aten's end. And it, gets, it does give health on hit. It does give health on hit. However, I'm still not convinced that it's worth it overall. It does 605 damage per second. Aten Zen does 502 damage per second. Um, mm. uh, that one's not at full 55, so we won't look at it yet. Uh, Keeper of Harmony, adrenaline, adrenaline on kill. Critical hit damage is boosted, so when I get a crit with this thing, oh boy, I crit. Uh, health on hit is nice. Slow, but is very powerful. Uh, let's give it a shot. Let's let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Woo! Okay. And click. I feel like I'm in Dark Souls now with the, the testing of weapons. Okay. So I think I can only get like three. Oh no! Actually, it does chain very well. 
I guess. All right, now hold and click. All right, so it does a little bit of an of a of a arc attack. So that could be good for clearing mobs a little bit. Uh, let's look at the. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. So just a slam for the hold click for the hold heavy. Ooh, was that a hold on? What was that? Was that a fucking parry? Was that a block? Okay. Okay, I'm I might hold on to the keeper of harmony. I might. <coughs> now, the eyes of Horus. I did use these in my original playthrough for a bit because I like them. Um They have very short reach or short reach, not necessarily very short reach, but short reach, but are very fast. They do 587 damage per second, and uh, they have adrenaline on regener adrenaline regeneration, which means the adrenaline will just regenerate, and has an increased crit hit rate. So, like, I'll be critting a lot more often. And it has health on kill. Oh, am I attacking? I'm apparent. I was apparently attacking. Uh, wrong button. I want this one. Uh, health of the eyes of Horus. Now, another reason I liked the eyes of Horus is this dagger in the left hand reminds me a little bit of the design of the dagger of time from Prince of Persia. In fact, that was their intention with that design. But anyway, all right. So quick combos, very quick combos. Okay, so the hold click is a, is a attack and dive and jump back. Okay, and what about heavy attacks? Okay. And heavy hold? Okay. I think I might give them a chop for a bit. Oops. Have this one be my standard... And then as I need to swap to these. Huh. I think that's what I'm gonna do for a bit. Cause like how are they how do they compare to Aten's end? They're pretty similar to Aten's end, stats wise. Um They do more damage per second. Same quality. I might I might stick to them. I might. Them or Keeper of Harmony, which is a quality lower, does more damage per second, and gives health on hit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if there's a way we can upgrade quality of weapons in Origins. Uh, that's, a, that's actually a good question. Let me Google that. Ass Ass in Creed Origins. Weapon. That's not how you spell weapon. Quality upgrade. Okay, so yeah, the qualities, weapon quality, add, okay, so the quality is the number you want to generally look at, but it's not necessarily the end-all be-all of, of equipment decisions. So yeah, basically, uh, that's essentially what I already knew. So there, there doesn't appear to be a way to upgrade the quality. Um...
if the Calamity Blade had, you know, one of these things like instant charging or something like that, or help on a hit or something, I would be looking at it more. But yeah. All right. So I think we're good with that with those for now. Let's look at bows. Uh, Hunter's bow. I have been. Who do I have? The Tassetti bow and the Amen Hope Tips bow. That's Hunter and Predator. Okay. I've been using this one, but I might want to use this one. Health for critical, critical hit rate, charging speed, health on kill, Lion's Mane I might like, health on kill, uh, charging speed, critical hit damage, or maybe that one, the Crescent Moon, set everything on fire, just set them all on fire, um, hell, maybe, because I have a light bow that does pretty much the same thing, the bow of raw, um, but anyway, let's let's throw on the um, no, let's let's go. Let's go for this. Let's go for Lion's Mane, at least for now. Uh, and then the Predator Bow. Um, regardless, I don't think I want the t the Tassetti Bow anymore. Um, so it's one of the well, I'm. I want it, I'm just not necessarily going to use it. Um, so I hit it. I didn't dismantle it, I hit it. Uh, Crescent Moon or Lion Mane. Uh, light Bows. Uh, rate of Fire is pretty high for this one. Hold on, I didn't look at damage for a second. Uh, that fire is actually really nice. Ah! Okay. Actually, Crescent Moon, hold on. No, Crescent Moon. Crescent Moon. That's the one we're doing they're doing. The reason why, the reason why a moon is uh connected to the moon. Not just because of the name, but because of like the hidden one and stuff like that. That whole that whole mythology, if I remember correctly, a moon is connected to, to the moon somehow. Not necessarily the god of the moon, but connected to it. Um so the crescent moon is very much I, I feel like is a reference to that but i could be i could be wrong i could be wrong um i know that at some point amun and ra got combined and became amun ra but yeah anyway back to what i was doing okay so uh light bows um the bow of ra is the one i've been using um off and on has a lower rate of fire, higher combo multiplier. Well, it has a combo multiplier, a very low combo multiplier, but a combo multiplier. Um, I think I want this one for it, you know? Um, let's hide that. Oh, shoot, I do have a bunch of stuff that's... Okay, hold on, let's unhide that. And then... Uh, unhide that, unhide that, unhide that. Okay. Did we look at all of these? No. Okay, so, now, yeah. okay, um, Crescent Moon is most likely going to be our main hunter bow, um, at least for the time being. Morning Sun, most likely, Bow of Raw, Spirit Catcher, this one is too low, at least for now, um, we'll see what this one does when we level it up to 55, um, Yeah, I think I'm going to stick to the morning sun for when I need a light bow for now. Um, yeah. And then for the warrior bows, 
We only really have the fourth plague. Does health on hit, which is good. Uh, precision. Ah, and then the Om Amenhotep bow is my predator bow, which I will not put away. <laughs> um... Okay. I think these are going to be my combo for now. The Crescent Moon and the Amenhotep bow. And then the... Uh, Morning Sun. Yeah. Okay. I think that's what we'll... <sighs> Back to shields. Um... Adrenaline on parry. Parrying is a thing I need to get better at. Uh, which is timing when to block the shield. Um, no, I do still think that this one is the best one. Um, because while it only does sleep on block, yeah, yeah. One of the things I need to do is I need to see if I can't grind any more of these out. Okay. Now. Now. Back to the actual... The reason why we're all here. Um... So, our actual mission is over here. Um... We are in this range. This is our current range of what we're looking at. So we have a mission here. Um... Oh, I know something I'm missing. Hold on. I forgot. What do you mean I forgot? I forgot. Okay, so. Do what I'm telling you to do. Uh, we don't need that. That copy. Um, And those. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. Sorry, I'm just checking my... Um, to make sure I don't miss anything important. No. I want to go here and then we'll go over here. So we'll hit here, we'll hit this, then hit these two and then go over here. Whoa. like a Medjay badge. Yes. Please forgive me. For a moment, I thought you were the sign of the Medjay, the lost protectors. I yes. I am. 
What pains you, Nebet? My heart is broken. My truest friend, my husband, Eriks, has been murdered. Tell me what happened. He was renowned for his work. A soldier ordered him to build war chariots for the Pharaoh. He was happy to do so. But when the soldier returned to collect, he only offered to pay half the agreed price. Eriks refused, and the soldier cut him down and stole the chariot. If you are truly a Magi, will you help me get justice? Find the soldier and destroy the war chariot so he may not insult my husband's memory. All right, one second. There we go. Okay. I can do that for you. To whomever, there's been a tragic accident at the lumber station just along the shoreline. Nefermaat and his crew were slaughtered by a group of territorial hippos. Whoever can rid us of these bloated river cows <laughs> is welcome to any valuables left behind. Be warned that the site is not for gentle eyes. The captain killed the chariot maker. His work was masterful. Still fine. Kitty? Kitty where? Oh there! Stay away from the rotting corpse. Pet the kitty. Come on, Dayak. Pet the cat. I know you can. Is it the other hand that does it? I can't remember.
Damn. Okay, so Blades of Horror, it's not so good. Alright. Come on. Um try this one this time. Should not be seen in this area. Be careful now. too late. Thank you. 
Okay. Now then, where was I? Fine, chill. Sorry, horses. Where am I going? Oh, I have to destroy it. Well. made to honor the builder who was cut down. Honorable Medjai, what news do you bring? I have destroyed the war chariot that Eric's made, and was stolen by the vile captain of Antilla. Your husband's memory is restored. And now to loot the place. Alright. Hello, Blacksmith, what you got? Upgrade. Um, I don't have enough to upgrade that, or that, or either of the shields. What up? What's about to sell? We can sell one of these. Let's sell this. Sell these. Sell this. 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 All right, now with that, do I have enough to upgrade something? I do, okay. What do we want to try to upgrade here? Um, 
shield. That's what we're wanting. We're wanting to upgrade a shield. Uh, health on parry, maybe. Bleeding on block, maybe. <clears throat> Range resistance. Fire resistance. Mm. I hear another kitty. Kitty kitty. Kitty kitty. Um. Let's go with... Looking at their com- hold on. Hold, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Looking at the combination of shields, they're not that- they're not actually that good of these- either of these two. So ranged resistance, fire resistance, that's good for if you're being shot with like fire arrows. And bleeding on block, like that's fine, but it's there's no additional boosts to like melee damage and stuff like that you know so um and then there's this one which is melee resistant and adrenaline on parry and health on parry but that requires you to be good with the parry which i'm not um uh in fact i often forget you can parry in this game uh honestly honestly the zydrich might actually be the decent one to go with like it's not as good with the ranged resistance as moot's sorrow and it okay let me let me, let me look to see what damage absorption rate does versus melee resistance Okay, here we go. A list of equipment perks and analysis. Uh, damage absorption value. Bayek has a 10% chance to absorb 50 to 95% of damage. Oh, that's considered to be the best shield perk. Okay. Uh, ranged resistance. Redu damage from them is reduced by an amount. Um... Ah, damage absorption value as opposed to damage absorption rate. Got it. By on damage absorption rate, Bayek has 20 to 50% chance, uh, depending on how many blocks are in the thing, I think. Um to absorb 30% of all incoming damage. So this one on Zydrich, he has a 40% chance. On both of these, he has a 40% chance to absorb 30% dam of the damage he's been getting. Eh. Um, that's not as good as I was thinking it was. Um, for the re range resistance, that's 50%. Uh, da range damage is reduced by 50% flat. And that's probably similar with melee damage, where melee damage or melee resistance is yeah dropped by forty percent. Um. Okay, so we might still be on moot being our best option here. Um. Honestly, I think it is. Until we get a better, sh until we get a better, like more shield options, I think it is our best bet. Um. So yeah, 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 yeah. 
And while this was pretty nice, sorry, itchy. Uh, while this one was pretty nice, ah, uh, adrenaline on kill is. I don't need that. Not really. Um. Adrenaline on kill. Combo multiplier. Critical hit damage. Health on hit. Honestly, I'm back here at Aten's end. You know? So I, I think I think I think I did actually have the best, at least melee setup. And uh yeah. All right. Anyway, at least for now, out of what I had available. All right. Uh, hold on. Give me. I didn't say. I didn't say I was done. Hi, baby girl. Um. You get talking about petting kitties in your game. You can't pet a kitty in real life. How dare. How dare. Um. Rate of fire, bleeding on hit, health is critical. No, I'm gonna hold on to my money. I'm gonna hold on to my money. None of those really seem worth it at the moment. Upgrading, worth upgrading at the moment. Um. All right, so we're here. We did think ah, we're here. We might as well get that. Where is it? I feel like I already pinged it, but I don't remember where it is. How careful, baby! No claws. Don't you don't use your claws on me. That hurt. Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna. Nah, it's it's a, it's a thing I'll worry about another time. All right, over to here. Yeah. Must clouds the air. Tana lives nearby. Oh, the gods shame me, Neb. The Tanner is my husband. He carries that stench home whenever he returns from camp. Is he here now? By the smell, you would think so. <laughs> but it's worse when he's around. Damn. Do not let it trouble you. We all must do work we do not relish. You are right. My husband works hard. But cannot keep up with the demand for his services. The Medjai are said to be legendary hunters. If you would like to earn some good coin, go and see him. I'm sure he could use your help. Hmm. I will consider it. Where would I find him? His hunting camp is north and west of Sao. He's scanning hides for a few days. If only there was okay. some way for him to get. <clears throat> All right, let's go see the other one that's over here. Did you ever see work as fine as Onirisis? I wish I could afford one of his weapons. Did you ever see the Serpent of Serapis? A spear light as a feather and sharper than Sobek's tooth. With such a spear, I could be a champion in the amphitheater. Shame about what happened to it.
I had the Spear of Serapis. I don't remember what I did with it. I think I sold it, maybe? Whatever. Anyway. Same stuff? Well, that's the upgrade thing. Uh... Alright. Serapis, husband of Iset, god of the dead, who dipped this spear in the Nile to make it light and true. Serapis, who watched over a dying king, who sharpened this blade on the edge of night to make it ever sharp. Tool, I name you the serpent of Serapis and dedicate you to the gods. Ah, the serpent of Serapis. You have heard the tragic tale? Not the whole of it. Oh, it was a true masterpiece. The shaft wrapped with water-hardened leather. The blade hammered out of the metal of heaven. I would love to see it. Impossible. I crafted it for one of Apollodorus's captains when I lived in Saïs. But Sefeto's soldiers killed him. That is the reason I left. Sefeto? Damn. Yes, Sefeto the Firebrand, who governs Saïs with flame and fear. One of his bootlickers stole the spear that bears my mark. Outrageous. Can you not get it back? The man is beyond my reach. He sails on one of Sefetu's triremes on Meriathus Lake. Ah, I hate a bully. My travels take me far and wide. If I come across him, I will look for your spear. I would love nothing more than to hear of his fall. If you manage it, the Serpent of Serapis is yours. Oh wow, several kitties. Pet kitties? Pet kitties. Pet kitties? You rich big stretch. Okay, hold. This is gonna bother me. AC Origins: How to Pet Cats. Crouch and slowly approach them. It will then automatically reach out, or should automatically reach out to pet them. Okay, so start over here and crouch. Oh now, kitty. What one are you doing? Please? No? Fine. All right. So the ooh, it's over there. Ah, uh, all right. Are you the the tanner? And the other one is out there. Okay. Are y'all thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking. I want a spear. I mean, I have a spear. I have a ten zen. But they talked up the. I don't remember how good the the fear of Serapis is or isn't. Um, um there's a boat. My boat now, bitch. Hey! 
Haha, <laughs> get back. The range. Damn it. I must keep up. You're the big boy. Big boy. Oh, he's in the water. He ended up in the water. Rip. Buddy, come here. The spear is magnificent. Clearly, the work of that master from Sao Village. The serpent of Seraphis is a weapon worthy of the gods. Aha! That's right. It's not a golden one. That's right. So I did. I think I did sell it. Um. Unless I have it hidden. No. Alright, so that's done. Uh, these are still higher levels that I'm wanting to do at the moment. So let's go ahead and teleport back to Sao Village. Um, also, let me go ahead and do that. So I know where to go next. Hello, my friend. The little one Medzai. was sleeping finally. Your travels have brought you this way again. Thank you for checking. How do you fare these days? May Seraphis watch Better. over them we and are slowly their making dreams. a life here. They wake I up have one small bit of news night. for you. What they I survived. found the bootlicker who stole your what spear. He is no is longer a threat to, to anyone. Bear. 
If I could put Cephetus' ah, face delights into the fire, it I would not be I hope you found enough. this serpent of Serapis, and it served you well. Let it go. Did indeed. You are safe Thank now. You, Your little ones are safe. Leave it behind you. I will try. You know, I will upgrade the serpent of Serapis just because I... No, I... No, I'll do this one. The money's burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> That's what's happening. Oh, I could still do... Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Because it is, I do remember it being a gorgeous spear, and it was the one I used for a while. Um... But let's 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 get a look at it, shall we? Serpent of Serapis. There it is. It is kind of gorgeous. I just killed a cat. I'm a bad, I'm a bad man. All right, so let's 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 look let's look at it compared to Aten's End. Obviously, Aten's End has better sh shit all around, but like, um, oh, it's the same. It's just the same. Okay, yeah, no, we'll mark it. We'll hide it. That way, I don't sell it. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to kill one of your cousins. I'm sorry. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about, my man. You're crazy. Oh, okay. That's the first time. I didn't even know you could kill cats in this game. It's dead ass the first time I've ever done that. I didn't even see it there. What am I doing? Give me my horse. That poor cow. That was rude, Bayek. Run him over. Oh. Riding here. I'm riding here. <coughs> Excuse me. myself with my own fire. My you shan't speak of it. I did not expect the gods to send help my way this day. I was afraid that beast wanted to eat me in revenge for my craft. What brings well, you this way? Your wife in Sao told me you might need a hunter. Yes, yes. Too much demand and not enough supply. I would be more than happy to pay you good coin for the hides I need, and for you to risk their teeth. I am listening. I need hyena ears, crocodile eggs, and vulture skulls. Okay. With vulture skulls. Many priestesses of Iset used them for headdresses. 
bid farewell. Well, now. Hmm. No matter. All right. So, vulture skulls, crocodile eggs, and hyena ears. Um, I believe that there's a crocodile nest over this way. Could be hippos. Could be hippos. Go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no, can I do it now? There we go. Tame the animal. Yeah. Two crocodiles. All right. Now, hyenas. Hyenas. All right. Oops. Sorry, y'all. There we go. All right. This is a crocodile lair. I was right about that. What's up here? If I remember correctly, like two out of three, if not all three things are like within a decent jog from the tanner. And I think, oh look, vultures. That's two of those. Okay. Hyena ear. Now, where did those vultures go?
die, you on fire bird. Oh, are you no longer tame? Oh, I didn't want to hurt you. Here we go. Good to know that that doesn't last forever. Fucking vultures. <laughs> they are such a pain in the ass. Sleep. You're right in the foot. Okay, that one's dead. I'll go get it. There we go. Now I just need one more hyena ear. Um, I don't know. Um, oh, there was a hyena spot back in the, oops. Back in, uh, here. Did I clear it? No. But, I mean, I did clear it, but, um, it's not, act it's also not actually named the hyena spot. Ah, oh, man. Um... Let's see if... Good for clearing mobs. Okay, there we go. you have for me all that you asked for ah yes good good and in fine condition they will do nicely your pay some fire damage some uh, some poison damage It'll be fine a couple holes here or there all right um i don't need to go there yet um i think i think my next Stop is here. 1518. I think that's my next stop. 
Um, those missions were level, level 13, that's a level 17, so we'll head there, yeah. Next uh, quest I have. <clears throat> 15. That's the one I want. And the Scarab Sting takes me to that exact location, more or less. Okay. We're gonna fast travel to Sao to Sao Village. Um where I'm going to tell his First wife. Coming. Slow to be honest. It's hard to get all the materials I need to properly fix it up. There she, there, oh, there's the Smith. The little one is sleeping finally. Your travels have brought you this way again. Thank you for checking on me. How do you fare these days? Therapist watch Better. over them and we are slowly making a life here. They wake up I have one small bit of news night. for you. What they survived, I found the bootlicker who stole what your spear. You escaped, he is no longer a threat to, to anyone. If I could ah, put Sephetha's face into the fire, it will I not be enough. I hope you found this serpent of Serapis, and it served you well. Let it go. It did indeed. You are safe Thank now. Thank you, Lev. Your little ones are safe. Leave it behind you. I will try. Okay, now where was Tanner's wife? Have you heard this? She was here-ish. You the wife? You right. No. Leave the desert for the gods. So they upset. Huh? Yeah, I got nothing. All right, that's fine. She's around here somewhere. Hey, buddy, let's go. Wait a second. Oh, I need to be back on the road. There we go. It's gonna take me out of the way, but uh, initially, but we'll get there. transport by the day's end a little more than a moment of my time don't you think i'm sorry we are normally two but my son cannot keep up one thing at a time let your boy rest i will help you collect your harvest he's such a good man walking the fields i know it but my field hands ran off when i couldn't pay the tax collectors demand all my grain or they will burn my house down Thank you, sir. Now I'll be able to pay Sefetu's dogs off. This time at least. Tell me about these tax collectors. They ride the roads all around sites, sticking mostly to the outskirts. Their rabid master, Sefetu, has them tax the people for all they have. Let me see if I can find them and convince them to change their ways. You work on your farm and raising your boy. Yes, Ned. Now that he can get some rest, I think my boy will get back his strength. The gods praise you.
see if I can't find a tax collector and uh, talk to him a little bit. Man to man. Or human to human, at the very least. Don't want to assume. There we go. too cocky in my in my combat just a little too copy co a little too cocky because i keep forgetting that my health will vanish instantly if i'm not careful ah oh well and what did they say that they passed the field of victims buried in the desert who did it no one knows maybe the scarab of a glorious tomorrow awaits you Taking too much from the good people of size. You are killing them. Okay. So, quest. Uh, this one. Oh. 
Hey, Rose. I indeed I am. Good to see you. Good to see you. Glad you could drop in. Why? I have a ship coming in soon with many jars of olive oil and cast. How you been, Rose? Hmm. That would be a benefit to many here. There is a shortage. <gasps> We were on vacation. Cool. Did you go anywhere or just stay home? I Master Brewer, Akuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. Apollodorus sent me. Apollodorus, of course. He sent me for the Scarab, the shadow that darkens eyes. Shh, please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. Apollodorus knows that people are suffering. In my position, many confide in me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. Come with me. Let us retire where we have a roof overhead. Fair. Fair enough. Do you have a good time seeing family, despite it being where it was? There are many terrible stories about the Scarab. I am sure Apollodorus told you. Tales of mutilation, disappearances, and folk buried in the desert and left to die. A horrendous fate, trapped in the shimmering sand, your mind and body pounded by the remorseless sun, waiting for the final release into the Duat. These are only stories. There are real villains in size. But the Scarab, if he exists, it is not safe to speak of him. That's good. The investigations of Harkov's agents. Concerns of the people. Ah, Saez is no different than Siwa. H. Harkov. You know I share your concerns about Sefetu, but I believe a greater force directs him. This is the Scarab, perhaps a mix of myth and rumor, but I think he exists. I think he controls some of the Sparrow's soldiers through fear or greed. That is why I was tortured when I discovered a rich payment to no one to one of the captains. Uh, they nearly killed me. I would have died after they mutilated me if they had not thrown me onto the road where Taharka found me and brought me home. Traveler came from Furwastir and reported that he came across several corpses buried in the desert with only their skulls visible. Two men just appeared in the night last night. They were known in Alexandria as powerful proponents of Cleopatra. Their families were in Saïs, but have since fled. The Fetu is run is hunting Zervos, the harbor master. Harkuf smuggler Jessica was killed by Sefetu. Wants to ask Amosis to take over her role. Sefetu has placed archers high across the city to act as his eyes. Nessa Moon took a beer shipment from Saïs to Yamu, but never arrived. Okay. The last man who asked questions about the Scarab was near beaten to death, with his tongue cut out. Who was he? Or Gupa, father-in-law to the most powerful man in the region, Tahaka. That boy, Kawab, is his grandson. Hey, you 
tired of winning. I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? No, he left on the road to Camp Piros. He should have been home by now. I'll see if I can find him along the road. <laughs> I love, I love Bayek. Bayek and I are so precious. Someone just rocking, walking around, rocking their tits out. Fair. I would too. Um, I would too in freaking Egypt. All right. So, uh, nearest is this one. Please, Mejai, if I can trouble you, Harkov's assistant, Nesamun, took a delivery of beer down the southern road. He never made it to Yamu. Please, can you find him and make sure he's okay? I am on the case. That beer was meant to honor Sekhmet. If he drank all that beer, he'd be whipped. Careful you don't overfill the job. All right, so that one's down there. Next to nearest, this one. Uh, this one. Let's go pick this one. Yeah, this one. Okay, map. Deep in town, okay. Where is this delivery headed? To Yamu for the segment ceremony. Ah, we have more archers to murder. Let's do it. Let's see what we can find, my friend. Okay, there's a thing over there. There we go. There's some archers. Also, I for totally forgot to say it. Thank you for the resubscription. 37 months. Holy hell, Rose. Not just tolerated, but you fucking encouraged me. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? That 
takes care of Sefetu's eyes. Plead insanity. Valid. Next quest. I should find this Zervos and see what he knows about Sefetu. See if he's connected to this Karab. I will ask among the merchants, see which are friendly to him. Like a strapping sword? Looking to improve your armor? Long night? Very. Uh, uh, sorry. What are you interested in? At the moment, I'm looking for Zervos. The harbor master? Of course. Uh, Zervos is uh, away. Away? Yes, uh, he's gone to Litopolis. Attracted by the promise of a new life. Then he is not dead. Dead? Why would you think he was dead? Any further word on Zervos? Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, who is that again? Clever. Another late night. Uh, they are all long these days. I see. Uh, sorry, I, I can't help you. Care for some dates. Finest in the area. Same ones the brewery uses for its famous beer. I... Care for some dates? Hot local singles in your area? Zervos, the harbor master is dead. Game on you. Good day for business. Not have. Oh, I like her dress. What are you looking for today? For Zervos, the harbor master. Do you know where to find him? You are looking for who? Why? I don't know him. I heard he was dead. Why are you bothering about him? He was a good man. A good man? So you do know him? I don't. I just heard others say it. Leave me be. I'm still looking for Zervos. I told you already. I don't know anything. Leave me be. Any yet. What are you looking for today? The harbor master, Zervos. Do not ask about him. The guards killed him. I am just looking. You know about a man named Zervos? The harbor master? Ah. Why are you asking about him? I have heard he is missing. In hiding? Perhaps dead. What would you do if Sefetu put a price on your head? Ah, I see. I am not one of Sefetu's men. I don't know anything about it. I don't stick my neck out. I have nothing to tell you. Finest metal work inside. Any metal work you need done? I'm still hunting for Zervos. Hunting? Ah. Uh, sorry, I cannot tell you anything. We got three leads. Clear the way. Who do we think it is? Clear the way. Yep. 
Let's follow her. Out of my way! Oh, shit. Another madman! Huh, Ben! Shine of kill. If you need some armor work, find me at the market. Oh, let old mute was skulking around again. Isn't he from some rich family? Don't bother me now. If you want Maybe to buy, why no see me in the market. Him out of town. I think he lives up at the Tahaka estate. Okay, so they were just walking to work. Got it. Okay. Now they'll be heading home. I'm still looking for Zavos. I told you already. I don't know anything. Leave me be. Traveling to where? My three leads.
How are you keeping? As best I can. I am Pike. There is a stranger in the market asking about you. What? Who is he? Is he one of Sefetu's curs? I do not know. I do not... I was just impatient. Damn, girl! Immediately pulls out a dagger! We are not I like fighting. her style. You can take the bounty off my head. I am not one of Sefetu's men. I am searching for Zervos on behalf of Hakuf. Good. I am Zervos, mighty harbor master of size. Fully ready to give his life. Dogs. Why is Sefetu after you? That dog. He is strangling the whole town. Taxes us to death. He burned my cousin's farm. That's right. I've been doing what I can. Helping people hide their imports and exports. What Sefetu does not see, he cannot tax. And he figured it out. His men raided my business and my house. But I hid my records on my felucca. <clears throat> If they haven't found my boat yet, they soon will. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> my feluca is tied up at the Sai's docks. I would prefer to have it back in one piece. But if you must destroy it, go carefully. Sefetu's men watch the harbor like hawks. <gasps> On it. Steal or destroy the boat. I'm gonna try to steal it. And what's the best way to stealth in and out of any situation? Killing everybody before they're a problem. We already did a little bit of a once over here uh, with Senu completely by accident. Um, okay. Here. How will you sleep, Bart? should be cautious around here. I'm out. I'm out. I'm outy. I'm outy. Down, 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 back.
How do you play it? Aggressive non-stealth. Valid. Valid. I get forced into that sometimes too, but I try really hard to do to do it the stealth way. Always felt easier to me, you know? Also felt very much more in the vein of the the series that you're supposed that it's from, you know, Assassin's Creed and all that. Currently playing it on nightmare mode, so you know, <laughs> thoughts and prayers. <laughs> it's supposed to be stealthy, but they made it very easy for it to not be. Yeah, this is my second time playing it in its entirety. The first time I played it on uh, on normal, just so I could focus on the story and not worry about like complex mechanics and stuff like that. the story too yep I do side missions basically uh, my my stream philosophy is if it's part of if it's any part like a story of any kind then yeah I do it on stream um, so like if it's a side mission that has a cutscene kind of a thing if it's just like collectibles um, or like in the in the case of this of this game just like clearing question marks for the sake of clearing question marks uh that stuff i leave off to the side um i am also doing this on new game plus so i don't have to worry about grinding for like uh equipment and upgrades and stuff like that so like i can focus on there's a lot of stuff that i can just straight up ignore um but like uh basically if it's a quest of some kind that's what i primarily focus on on stream sometimes i get distracted <laughs> sometimes i get distracted but for the most part yep max already um like like i said well new game plus it carries over new game plus carries over just to be clear new game plus carries over the levels up and everything uh and equipment and everything um, but, uh, <laughs> I, first time I played this, I was max level before I hit Alexandria the first time, just because I was getting distracted by everything. Um, so like, just to give you, give you the map example, um, in Siwa and Imminent Gnome and the lake here. I cleared all of those and I also spread out to like over here and stuff like I wasn't paying attention to levels like I should have been and I ended up max level so quick. Un it is it is um, unfortunately it doesn't get the it doesn't get the 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 love it deserves um, and it does have its problems. Um, they were absolutely trying something different to try to breathe life back into what had become a stale franchise. Um, stale, not necessarily bad, but stale. Um, it was basically they were churning out the same game over and over and over again, just in a different setting. So, like, I get why they tried this, you know, 
Um, and I get why Odyssey is the way it is. I get why Valhalla is the way it is, even though I haven't played Valhalla yet. Um, I mean, Ro Rose, I mean, you're not wrong, but also calling me a Cheeto feels like an, in an insult that's gone a bit too far, considering who else gets likened to a Cheeto. So, so can, can we compromise as like a, like a, a chip lost in the couch? But anyway, um... You needn't hide any longer. I secured your felucca. Your documents are safe. You saved my felucca. Here, take this as a small token of thanks. You have made things better here. You clearly have people who are willing to help you out, Zervos. Why don't you take on Sefetu? Sefetu is too powerful, too greedy. He knows there is no one strong enough to stop him. We are not fighting men. Sefetu surrounds himself with soldiers. His base at Fort Nikiyu is guarded with balliste. Fool that I am, I helped him import them. May Amun watch over you. Okay. So now that the cutscene's over, um... You just finished the game three days ago? Very fair. Out of curiosity, was it your first Assassin's Creed game? Or had you already been familiar with the series and before you went into this one? Out of curiosity. First first Assassin's Creed game. Okay. Um, cool. Welcome to the series. Uh, it's... The Assassin's Creed French, I am I am one of those diehard Assassin's Creed fan. I am. I love the lore. I've delved deep into everything. I have been going like every Monday I play through the like I've been playing through the franchise. Like I started streaming in order to stream and share my love for the games, basically. Um, and so I do them. I, I, I every Monday I pl I'm in here playing Assassin's Creed and have been started with Assassin's Creed one and made it all the way now to Origins. Um, so just just to clarify that I am one of those diehard fans. However, um, I do also agree that it's the it's the fanboys who that say this game that like the Origins is bad or that Odyssey is bad or that Valhalla is bad. Um, it's it's less fanboys and more I have to be careful here because it's very much like it's very much like my experience with the Star Wars fandom it's a fandom that I have been a part of my entire life and like and I mean like a hard a part of um like Rose can attest I met Rose in like just to just to throw my nerd credentials out there a little bit i met rose in star wars uh like fan fiction type stuff um for the clip for that and so like you know just to like I, my experience with the assassin's creed fandom is very similar to the my experience with the with the star wars one in that um in that it's the loud minority of fans who talk shit about things. Um, there, are, It's those who won't even actually give it a fair shake. They decide before, they decide whether they're like, gonna like something before they even give it a chance. Um, and so again, some of the complaints are valid. Um, like one of the big complaints I've heard about Assassin's Creed Origins is that it's do it doesn't feel like an Assassin's Creed game, and it doesn't. Um, and but the reason for that, uh, but the reason for that was that they were trying to breathe new life back into, like I said, a what had become a stale franchise. Um, 
And no, it's not bad to be a fan. Uh, but there's a difference between being a fan and being toxic. And a lot of those fans who call those people who call themselves fans tend to be uh, tend to go a little bit too toxic with their they're like, no, this was the only good thing. All the rest of the things are bad. And if you like that other thing, then you're not a real fan. You know, stuff like that. It's it's very it, it's same shit, different franchise, basically. Um and uh but no, yeah, the uh as a person who has loved the Assassin's Creed series from the first game onwards, um I'm I also am in the minority of most are absolutely Ezio only. And I can honestly, I can understand why. He is incredibly charismatic. Um, it's those are the games that essentially uh set the pace for Assassin's Creed going forward. Um, there was a reason they did three games with him instead of just the one and then move on to the next one, you know, which is what they were going to do originally. But fans liked the second Assassin's Creed 2 so much that they kept with him for a bit. Um, and, you know, it, it's like, I understand why they're like, he, he was, Ezio was awesome for a reason. However, um, the problem is that they're kind those fans are kind of missing the point it's like those i don't know how familiar you are with doctor who right but in in doctor who the main character the doctor regenerates he changes he like it basically they change when whenever one of the actors who's playing the doctor is tired or too old or needs to leave for one reason or another the character regenerates and gets a whole new face a whole new personality and it's the same character same history same everything new new personality new face new actor um and the whole premise of the series of the doctor who series is change is good not change for change's sake but change for progress is good and it's very much this thing of there are doctor who fans who completely missed that point there there are ones who are saying only one doctor is the real doctor none of the rest of them are are you know whatever or there or it's two doctor who got too different changed too much which is fair um but it's missing the point and the assassin's creed fans the toxic ones often miss the point with the assassin's creed games as well where it's yes it's a fun romp of assassination and stealth through history but there's a lot more to it than that and the fact that it that you're so stuck in that one since you're so stuck in the past, you're kind of missing the point. Uh, one thing you really want to know, the Animus. Okay. So the Animus is a piece of technology within the lore of Assassin's Creed that is the... Uh, the I forget the actual literary term for it, but it's the... It's the key element that allows the uh, modern day protagonists who, to be fair, are the people whose stories you're experiencing. Um, it allows them, to, those modern day protagonists, to experience the past through the memories and experiences of what was originally their own ancestors but has evolved as technology has evolved within the within the franchise and it's evolved to as long as you have somebody's dna you can go back to their ans that person that sources ancestors so within this game uh you have layla since you you've already beaten the game you have layla uh she's work she works for abstergo which are the big bad guys of the franchise um she wor starts working with abstergo uh because she's 
a, an engineering genius, essentially. Um, and she loves working on the Animus and tooling with it and stuff like that, but nobody's giving her the, the light of day and everybody is stealing her ideas and stuff. And the reason for that is because they're, she's literally working for the evil people. Um, and that's why... I uh, Have you played Assassin's Creed Odyssey yet? Probably not, because you said you only beat this one three days ago, and it was your most recent one. So I won't finish the thought because you probably haven't finished. You haven't even started Assassin's Creed Odyssey yet. But Assassin's Creed Odyssey fin continues Layla's story, um, and uh, I do highly recommend Assassin's Creed Odyssey because if you because uh, if you really liked the uh, if you really liked to play this with the aggressive charge in and fight kind of way, you will love Assassin's Creed Odyssey for that because they. Well, I'll just say it. You're pra you're pre you're playing what is uh, what is technically functionally a demigod in that game. So if you really like that in this game, I'm pretty I'm sure you'll like it so much more in this in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But anyway, that's besides the point. The Animus is a tool to answer your question directly. The Animus is a tool that allows the storytelling aspect um, of every about every DS, DLC available I, that's good I recommend that I do recommend that the DLC for for all of the Assassin's Creed games is all really good in my experience um but uh yeah anyway the animus is a tool that allows the storytelling of the of the franchise to take place basically um and while it's importance the reason why they don't explain that and in detail in this game, uh, even though this was essentially a soft restart, not a reboot, a restart of the franchise, um, the reason they don't explain exactly what the Animus is is because at this point it doesn't really matter. Um, like, it does, but also it doesn't. Um, the so like if you really if you really really want to get like the in-depth lore explanation of what exactly uh the animus is what it does how it functions what the science fiction behind it all is um you absolutely can do that that's back in assassin's creed one um and expand it on a little bit in assassin's creed two and so on um and again, I do highly recommend those games. They are very much different than this game, but I do very much recommend those games. Um, <clears throat> but essentially, to answer your, to, again, to re-answer your question, the Animus is a piece of technology that allows you to experience the memories uh, of somebody's ancestors through their DNA. Um, and to my knowledge, it's based on an actual uh, real-life theory Black Flag is really good. Um, if people don't, re if people, uh, um, if it, if if people aren't saying that they like Ezio, they're saying they're loving e they love Edward Kenway, because um, Black Flag is really good. It's a fun pirate romp. Um, <clears throat> I do recommend. Oh no, because Black Flag is technically another soft restart. Um so no yeah you could you could absolutely pick up black flag and run with it without have without necessarily needing to uh have the previous games but if you were going to pick up uh my favorite assassin's creed which is assassin's creed 3 um then you would definitely definitely need to play 1 2 brotherhood and revelations first uh because it is very much the finale of that in that initial arc that was started in those games um but black flag you're absolutely you should be absolutely fine to pick that up like obviously there will be some elements that will mean more to you once you've played those other games but largely it is a decent starting off sp a point uh like origins is um it's a decent starting off point for uh diving in you know
uh so it, it is really good um anyway i need to get back to this game uh all right let's see here brotherhood is good i i have particular issues with brotherhood um like i enjoy it don't get me wrong i enjoy brotherhood i have but i have particular issues with it that i don't really want to go into because they're just like me things like i would have done such and such a thing slightly differently kind of a thing it doesn't really matter it's not that big a deal you know um the uh however brotherhood is very much a direct sequel to assassin's creeds one and two um and i feel like in order to really like to really appreciate the game and its storyline um you kind of should start with assassin's creed one at that point um that but that's my opinion obviously do whatever you want uh it's your life it's your money it's your games etc do whatever you want play it in whatever order you want um you don't need my permission for things um it's just my recommendation I will say, um, I will say, do not expect to have the element, the aspect of, uh, the eagle and stuff like that. Cause that's, that's only a, this game and, uh, this game, Odyssey and Valhalla thing. Um, so like, don't, don't expect to be going into it and being like, oh, it feels the same. Drastically different. <laughs> Even Assassin's Creed 4, drastically different. it's possible um it is possible they they hold up pretty well in my experience um because they were the graphics were pretty amazing were pretty great when they first came out and so they hold up pretty well even though they're not like shiny and new you know um the uh Uh, there is technically an Assassin's Creed 2 remaster. Um, it's had its issues. Um, I don't n remember if Brotherhood and Revelations have been remastered. I know 3 has been remastered. I played Assassin's Creed 3 remaster when I was streaming it. Uh, and it's, it's really good. Um, Assassin's Creed 3 was already my favorite, but with the remaster, they, they made it so much better. Um... And, um, let's see here. The, uh... Oh, there's an ad break. So. Amosis? Yes? Fresh cockles and mussels today. My name is Bayek. I come from Hakuf. <clears throat> he needs your help as a friend of Jessica. I'm listening. Since Jessica was killed, Hakuf needs a trusted agent to shepherd people out from under Sefetu's watch. Dead? You and Hakuf are out of touch. Jessica's too tough to be held by Sefetu. She escaped the firebrand. What? Where is she? Back on the river. She took a felucca loaded with supplies to the people she sheltered. She's taken a dangerous route to the southwest past the hippopotamuses to avoid Sefetu's eyes. If you follow the coast, you'll find her. Out of the tree hippo you're not allowed to be up in that tree hippos don't climb trees Blast 
bloated river pigs. These bloated lake cows. Help me drive them off. Yeah, so <clears throat> as I was saying before the ad break, um, the uh, older graphics might bother you. Um, they, they, in my opinion, they hold up pretty well, uh, considering how, exactly how old they are. Um, but that's kind of a thing you'll have to, you know, try it yourself. Um, I know there's a there. I know there's a remaster for Assassin's Creed Two. There's always a rumor about a remaster, remaster for Assassin's Creed 1. Um, <clears throat> the uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Revelations, I don't recall a remaster for either of them. Um, I know there is one for 3, though. I, I, I have that one, and I, and I played it. Um... What are you called? Bayek. Good to meet you, Bayek. I am Jessica. How did you end up here? I got lost. Sailed the wrong way. I would not call <coughs> avoiding Sefetu's patrols the wrong way. What do you know of Sefetu? Akuf believed you are dead. But you escaped. He needs you back. Help me get these supplies to my village. There are many depending on me. And we will talk. sent to him by a man to whom I am pledged. I believe we are working towards the same end. Well, Hakuf is a great man. Dosais is a region of self-proclaimed great men. But Hakuf has a good heart. He cares for his people and his city. Yes. He protects them from cowards like the Scarab and Sefetu. I have smuggled many families like poor Wenis and son out of Sais to keep them safe. The hell was that? To refuse Sefetu, he has burned to death. You are courageous to protect families that are not your blood. If you say, I hide them in my village until we can arrange a caravan to go beyond the desert. Hence the food and medicine I bring. How did you survive? Sefetu's soldiers brought me to Fort When they thought me broken, I. By the gods, Sefetu has come! He has. Where? Who's shooting at us? For real? Whatever. y'all can run away like fucking cowards.
Here, where'd she go? Oh shit, she's heading right on in. <clears throat> the Vettel's men are burning everything. Stay here. Let me. Then we let them. Nothing. You didn't see anything. No. Which way are you facing? You're facing me. Oh. Uh... Who's coming? <clears throat> No. Wait a Done. So many lives turned to ash. Is anyone left? We need to be quick. More will come. Did you hear that? Yes. You are still alive. I will not leave you here. Damn, <clears throat> didn't even need our help. <clears throat> My cousins have a farm nearby. It may be untouched. Please help me bring Pentu. Of course. I will take him. Oh, can I not call my horse? <laughs> Lame. Okay. <clears throat> Fine. Oh. 
No. Come on. There we go. Damn, the way he just pulled him off the fucking horse. Abana! Are you there? By Serapis. It is I refuse. No more. No more. <laughs> yes, kitty girl. Thank yes, you for kitty girl. life. I did nothing that you would not have done. He owes his life to you. This is not the end of it, however. No. Those dogs still hunt for the prick master. I will go to Hakuf. We must find a way to peel Sefetu out of his shell and deal with I him. I cannot bring your people back from Duat, but I will help you avenge your village. You cannot stand there! You are only making him more difficult on yourself! Oh, look at him! He's dead! He finally put the kitty! I refuse! No more! They take too much! Speaking of kitties, we'll pick up this quest and then probably call it a night soon. Himself inside. Who is it that you're speaking to? It's one of them, isn't it? No, you fool. He fears Sefetu's men, but hiding his head in a bush solves nothing. I am not an ostrich. Do I hear horses? Is it them? You better run! Please, if it does not work, Sefetu's tax collectors will do something terrible. I'm not sure I can convince him, but I will keep an eye out for these tax collectors. Perhaps I can persuade them to leave you alone. All right. So, yeah. Uh, it's close enough to 10. We'll call it there. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, we'll call it there. We'll call it there. <laughs> we'll call it there. <laughs> um, I could easily just keep playing this game, but it's almost hi. You want to come up? No, 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 <laughs> no. She did not want to come up. Um, she was almost up on my desk with how much she was begging my attention. Uh, she had her paws up on my leg and was bumping the underside of my arm while I was on when my hand was on the keyboard. She was almost up on my desk. Um, anyway, no, she's shy. She's not shy, but she's shy. I mean, she's very shy, but she she's shy. Um, and also she doesn't like being uppy. But anyway, we're gonna call it there. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining. Um, and thanks for hanging out. Um, before we head out, I just want to point you guys in the direction of my link tree. Um. It's a way to follow me for updates, check my schedules, etc., etc., etc. Join my community if you so choose. All that wonderful stuff. Um, Mondays are Assassin's Creed. Tuesdays, we're currently going through Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, Wednesdays is that we're going to be starting a new game on Wednesday, Sonic Origins. Um, and uh, Friday, and we take Thursdays off, and then on Fridays uh, we we've been we'll be starting at dishonored 2 on friday so yeah uh, we got some a couple new games a couple of really good ones that we've been playing and a couple of new new games that we'll be checking out um but uh yeah follow me on the socials join my community on discord uh check out my vods on youtube i uh, you know etc 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 if you don't want to if you don't want to do any of that that's perfectly fine i won't hold against you um, but there they are on screen if you want to. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. Uh, anyway, uh, like I said, we'll be back, we'll be back tomorrow, the usual time for, um, more Horizon Zero Dawn. And so until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out.